scroll over. Same concept here, except you drag the button out, because it's not a text box. Now, once again, I suggest that you rename it. We'll rename it to Watch. And now, you can put the button right there. Now, I want to talk to you about when you place this button, you can see these blue lines. And you, that's kind of weird, right? Well, it's not. It's actually very helpful when it comes to placing buttons. Because, which would you have an application like this? Here, like this. Or one that's very straight and good looking, like like that. Now it just helps with placing it. It's a u user interface helper, and it's very useful because people don't like when it's all screwed up like this. It's all messed up. That that's not very appealing to the average buyer. So. Now that you've seen that, we have all these other options in the common controls. We have check boxes, we have checklist boxes. Basically, you can put several of them in, and it's in a grouping box. You have labels, you have text boxes right down here at the bottom. Text boxes allow you to enter something. Same here, you can enter text. This doesn't change the name of it, but you can enter text. Right here, it should be blank, but you can enter text. Let's enter type here. And look, you can type there. Let's just make this application look good. Put the label right here, and that looks really nice. So let's drag this out. Now that looks really nice. So, just trying to show you everything. You can have little progress bars. Now don't don't try to screw around with these yet because they are hard to figure out. It took a while for me. I'm sorry if people those are gonna be like it didn't hard. Um, yeah. The other options pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna get into them today. Just wanted to show you about this right here. Over here, this shows all your files. You can add a file. You can even add another window. Like, I guess go add new Windows form. Form, in case you didn't know, is the name for a window. We can add a whole new form, but it won't open on the startup of our application, which raises another question: How do we make our application work? How do we compile it? Is there a way? Well, luckily there is. This way is pretty simple, and when when you figure it out, it it's very easy. Yeah, wow, that was weird. But anyway, you can create new Windows forms and then switch them right here, and you can go between these two and access them. You can also access them from the tabs right here. Let's see. And we went over the properties window. It needs values and other things so let's make our there's also several other options right here you can make about boxes explore forms but let's just focus focus on windows form okay form 2 created <coughs> and now look what is this what is this over here we have two new well one new thing Sorry if I'm incorrect, but we have one new thing over here. Form 2. That's a whole nother window. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to access this one through this to make it work just yet. Because that involves actually programming our application. We've just been designing it. Now, you might be thinking, well, then it's not going to compile. We've just been designing. We have to program. No, we don't. Just click the Start Debugging button. That builds or compiles it. In the next tutorial, I'll try to show you where you can find your application. If not, don't get mad at me. Sorry. And since build Chris succeeded, it should go into a little debugging mode, which means the toolbox will disappear. Now, don't fret. 
as soon as you click the stop button or exit your application, the toolbox will come back. Just wait for this to load, and look! Look, it's our own window that we can move around. We can click this button. Nothing happens, of course, because we haven't programmed it. We can click this checkbox right here. We can type something in the type here box. We can put the label says label one because we didn't assign anything. But that's all I want to show you today, I guess. That's how you'll use this compiler. I'll get into more advanced things later, but yeah. Um, this has been a Project R tutorial. Have a good day, guys. Um, I say um too much. Bye.